Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a poster in Canva. Let's jump in. So we're just going to head over to canva.com. And if you already have an account, you just sign into that. If you don't have an account, you can create one. And I'll even put a link in the description to be able to access that and set up a, an account. Uh, there is a free version and a paid for version. What we're going to do today is I'm going to create a poster using all free elements so that you can do this without the paid account, but you can certainly do this if you have the paid account as well. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the templates over here on the sidebar. I'm just gonna click on templates. And they have a ton of different you know, options across the top, all sorts of different things. You can even search. But what we're looking for here is posters. So we'll just click on that. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be creating a poster for a yard sale that I'm gonna be having here in a couple of weeks so that I can post that around the neighborhood so that everybody can come to my yard sale. What I So you could scroll through these templates and you can kind of see all the different versions and, and kind of looks and feels of those and pick out the one that you like best. Now, if you see in the corner, sometimes it has this little crown icon. If you hover over, it says pro. Those are the templates that are only available with the pro account. So what we're doing is we're trying to find the ones that are not. You could also search. So I'm just going to search yard sale. Let's see if I can find one that I like for that. I actually like this one right here. Now you can get this printed. So they're showing you some different, you know, what that looks like that way. I don't need it with a frame. So just showing you what it's like. You can also print it with Canva if you'd like, but you don't have to. So you could click on customize this template and it'll take you into here. Now you could also start from scratch, but I find it way easier to just start with a template and then you can customize everything that's in there to suit your needs. Okay. So we're just going to scroll in here so I can see what we got here. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to change out the information that we want here. It's not a garage sale, so we're going to change this to yard sale. So you just double click on the text box. You open this up and you go yard sale. OK, and we want that to be on the next line. That's good. You know what? And I don't really need this text box up there. I'm just going to simplify it a little bit. Lots. So let's change the date. It's actually going to be June 7th through the 9th and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's right. And we're just going to change the address here. And then they have here where you can add for more information. I don't want that. OK, so all we're doing right now is we're just changing this initial block of information up here and it is all grouped together. So now that we've removed some of the information up there, I want to make this bigger. I want to utilize much more of this space. So we're just going to drag these corners out just to make it nice and big so that we got lots of good information in there. Again, like I said, this is all totally customizable. For instance, like this house here, my house is actually a dark blue color. So we're just going to select that so that that is more accurate. See, and so any of these elements, you could change the fence color, change the grass, whatever you want there. All right. So now I have some empty space here and I want to add a photo to this so that people can see some of the items that they're going to expect at the yard sale. So if we just go over here and click on the uploads, we can select some images that we want to add. So we want to go to upload files. So I'm just going to click on the photos I want to add and you go open and it's going to drop them in here. So I'm just going to select all of these and add them over here. Okay. Now we can resize those. So I'm just going to drag that down. We got some comic books here. And then if the image is too big, you can crop that. So I'm just going to pull these down here like that. Okay. So you can see you just grab the edges. You can kind of resize them however you want there, just like that. And then down here on the bottom, you can see you can just drag this to kind of zoom in. So we can see what this looks like. So now I'm just going to kind of get these all lined up across here. So we got some text, we got some pictures, we got some graphics here. Now, if there's anything else that you want to add, you can go over to your elements tab here. And let's say I want to add a little graphic of add a little price tag here. 
Okay, and again, we're looking for ones that don't have the premium sticker on there. There we go. We'll just grab that. And again, we could just resize that. So this is one that's already built in there. We'll just add that right over there, make it a little smaller. And you can add any elements that you want. You got little graphics. You can search for any elements that you want to add to that. If you want to add more text, you could click through here. If you need to add any more text, you could click on the text box here and add a text box. But I think I got all the text that I need there. And then once that is the way that you want it, all you have to do is you go up here to share, click on this, and you can either send it or download it, which is what we want to do so that we can print it. We'll leave it as PNG so that it is a good quality size to be able to print from. And we download that. Now we'll just go into our, our downloads. And there you have it. Now all I need to do is I could print that out or I could send it somewhere to get printed, whatever I wanna do. And I have my poster for the yard sale. So there are thousands and thousands of templates that are available to you to create any poster you want on Canva. Start there and then you can customize it any way that you need. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.